And hello there, everybody! It's me again, Lou, and I've been a little bit confused, it seems. Anyway, welcome to the stream! I'm once again joined by my good old pal, Mike. Lou, I'm Mike. excited. Lou, I'm excited. About what? I got Metroid for 3DS, and I beat it, and it was pretty good. Oh my god! A good Metroid game! Yeah, no. And it wasn't. And I was wondering about those flying pigs outside. So there you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Nintendo that actually uh, managed to do it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Now here's here's the sad and stupid news. I I lent it out, and then I got the amiibos for uh, the <laughs> so I could play fusion mode. So uh, <sighs> Geo's got it. I didn't. Well, I didn't expect to get the amiibos so soon. So it's right. You know. Right. And I, of I would course normally, you weren't. I normally wouldn't support this kind of dumb thing, but I didn't get them for the DLC. I got them because, god damn it, Samus Amiibo looks fucking sexy. It, it really does. It really, really does. She's got some fat, chunky armor. Mm mm mm. mm, -mm. Some fat chunks. Mm mm. Ye. Yeah. yeah. What up, Mootsy? Welcome to the stream. Am I. Fucking goddamn. Something's always wrong, isn't it? Uh, hey, Mozi. Don't worry, no. I will provide quality content commentary while Lou fiddles around oh, please, like a total please, fucking please, moron. Dude. Yeah, I'm such a twat. Mm hmm. So. Yeah, there we go. That fixed it. Good job. Yeah, yeah. So get this. Uh. They actually managed to make a pretty decent apology out of the game. Like, I'm not sure if it was intentional, but... Uh, it was intentional. They used music from Prime, despite Other M trying to say, like, Oh, it's not canon because, you know, we're a bunch of shitmongers. Uh, so it used... You fucking shitmongers, you. Yeet. So it used music from yeah. there, and... Uh, what else did it do? Um, well, the end boss fight definitely was an apology. I don't want to spoil that, you know, in case anyone's not played it yet. But, yeah. my god, it was good! Nice! They made smart decisions and didn't just, you know, go like, hey, Federation Force. Yeah. Yeah, Federation Force was a weird one, wasn't it? Now, you see, I'm sure it's pretty good. Geo says he likes it, but I told Geo, I'm like, the, the thing is, the reason why it's getting hate is because there's no Metroid game to support it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a mismanagement of the Metroid brand, I think. Yeah, like, if... Like, they, they should not have attached the Metroid brand to this game. They That's what it. They could have, though. Like, if... Yeah. All they had to do was have a Metroid game out with it, and just be like, Hey, look! You have two Metroid games! People go like, Yes! Because, I mean, Metroid did pinball. Did anyone get mad about that? No! Because we had so many other Metroid games. Yeah. Which one was uh, pinball spin, uh, spin off of? Or uh, spin -off Prime. Uh, Prime, Met right, Metroid right. Prime Pinball. Pinball! Which is arguably better than Metroid Prime Hunters, but... Well... I've never played either, so I'm just gonna take your word for it. I never played uh, pinball, uh, but... I'm not a big fan of pinball in general. Yeah, me either. I, mean, I like Sonic's pinball out of a sheer case of stupidity. Probably. Maya. Yeah. yeah, there's my cat being... Dumb, I guess. Right over there. Little kitty cat. Oh yeah, speaking of pets. So, yes. that 30 pound lizard that my brother has. <laughs> um, there's a... He's got a pretty big setup. Uh, right. Like, I would say like a closet's worth of a setup. Right, because Maybe. it's a fucking dog. It, yeah, it's bigger than a lot of dogs, so it, it needs it's, it's a good amount of space. But the other thing it needs is it needs a heat lamp, because it needs to be, like, in pretty hot temperatures. Right. Um, also needs a UV lamp, because uh, it helps them process calcium. Anyway, I'm waffling. Um, Bet you are. Um, what I'm getting to is 
my brother gets home and he starts talking to me. He's like exhausted for, you know, from work. He's like, oh, apparently I have to go downstairs and fix something. I'm like, what? What do you have to fix? He's like, oh, I just got a text message saying that the idiot broke the heat, uh, heat lamp box. <laughs> so what they did was they right. had it suspended, the heat lamps, both of them, inside of a large wooden box that was held up by like some high strength cable. He managed mm -hmm. to climb up onto it, break the top, fall through the entire thing. What? Yeah. I mean, this isn't the worst what thing that he's done. What? what the fuck? This is the worst thing he's done. I mean, he managed to escape. Um, uh, I'm trying. I have to recall the events because this was pretty like ridiculous. Um, he, well, he got, obviously, he got through the door somehow. Ah, uh, yeah. And sorry, Go ahead. that's fine. Uh, from there, he managed to knock over a hamster tank and not eat the hamster, which is a surprise to everyone. Um, then the motherfucker climbs up um, one tank and on top of another. Right. And imagine you imagine this little tiny lizard that's probably no longer than a few inches with this right. gargantuan four foot lizard climbing clean over it's like Godzilla all right yeah I was just about to say so he does he climbs up that knocks it off the little lizard drops its tail and it doesn't regrow so <laughs> fucking wonderful oh. then it manages to climb over that onto the wall in in between the ceiling and the eye beam fall out the other side and climb up to the basement door it's like you idiot <laughs> Fuck? Yeah, he, he created quite the mess. Well, seems like Jesus. And what the hell? Now I know what you're thinking, and it would be a reasonable thought. You're like, oh my god, you know, this guy's a real asshole. It's like, no, he's actually like a real nice lizard. He's just, he's totally chill. It's just, he really likes getting out in the sun and shit, I guess, so. Yeah, it's just probably a, a big old dork that just breaks shit by accident. Yeah, that's... Probably, honestly, because you could total stranger. You could walk up to him, just start petting him, and just like, oh hi, how's it going? <laughs> nice. Have you had any catastrophic damage done by uh, any pets throughout your life? Well, not catastrophic, but still a little, a little bit of damage. Like Maya managed to poop in my bathtub. Well, yeah. How hard is that? That's to about clean? a ride. Well, that's not hard to clean. No, no, it isn't. It, 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 she just uh, pooped onto the anti-slip rug Oh, that's inside, So, it, which wasn't hard to clean either, so let's just put it in the washing machine and, of course, after scooping up all the, um, all the shit. It's these details but, that everyone lives for. Yeah. And that's that's what you that's what everybody came here for after all just quality cat shit talk. poop stories shit talk yeah shit talk yeah literal shit talk mm -hmm. yeah. obviously why else would you be here actually it's a very good question yeah lord knows we've got nothing interesting to offer but yeah no that's pretty much the only thing that she ever know that she ever did aside from pissing and pooping in my bed I suppose oh, well. <laughs> well that's a little bit more worse than your tub no it's, the tub was just was the, mo the most recent one that's why oh okay well I meant like pets in general over time oh no, no yeah no I think she huh actually I think she took to piss by literally a couple times Little bastard. Wah wah. Wah wah wah. Right, so. What did I want to do actually? Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Lou. You're the only one who can tell the rest of the world how you want to make your comic. Yeah. Unless you have a certain idiot make, uh, you know, more guest comics. No, I think that would be a bit too short notice. <laughs> I just had to think of something uh, racially insensitive against Austrians. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> no, it doesn't look right. 
Yes, it is racist, it's and it's right hilarious. Cool. Well, of course it is, because it's hilarious because it's racist. <laughs> uh, my, my favorite uh, racist joke uh, in recent times was... Um, was it... Um, oh, God. Uh, Irish people uh, band together in, uh, in hatred for the Lucky Charms uh, mascot for being racist. I said, just what? kidding, because Irish people aren't pussies. Like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who. I could, I could see that. I could see that. I don't know who posted that in my Facebook feed, but I was like, all right, you know what? Bravo. That, that, that's fucking funny. Yeah, that's such a, that's such a backhanded burn. I was gonna do an Irish accent, but unfortunately, I can only manage to do uh, what Snatch called a pikey accent, which. Uh, a pikey. I'm not sure if that's a racist term because I'm not from the European nation, but uh, maybe I should just shut my fucking mouth while I'm uh, ahead of the game. Yeah. I wouldn't know either, so there you go. Yeah, they aren't. Well. Also, welcome to the stream, Electro Momo. How's it going? Enjoy your stay however you can. Hi, oh, I'm uh. looking for a caravan. It's for me, ma. It's for his what? <laughs> for his ma. <laughs> for his ma. If you haven't seen the movie Snatch, I highly recommend yes, it. Yes, of course I have. It's fucking great. I like it better than Lockstock, two smoking barrels, but... Yeah. I mean, that's just comparing, you know, gold to gold. It's just, you know... Pretty much. Just one's got a little bit of dust on it. Yeah, it needs a little bit more polish. But Snatch was fucking great. Just even even just for uh was it Decap no, wait. I'm awful with names. What's what's I was Brad face? Pitt. Thank you. Even 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 if just for Brad Pitt's performance, because holy shit this guy can act, it's incredible. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how he fucking mastered that, because Jesus Christ it was like <laughs> oh, I have that one. So one, the parent and blue. <laughs> you right. Already, but you already got a caravan. For his ma. His what? For, <laughs> for his ma. For his ma. <laughs> God, I love that movie. Need to watch it again. Another good movie in that same vein is um. Ah, oh, shit! I only know the uh, American version of the. Of the name, uh, the longest yard. It's it stars the guy who played Bullet Tooth Tony, oh. but it has like all of the cast from Snatch, uh, pretty much. Oh my god! And awesome. It, it's fucking amazing. They have uh the guy um, Jason <laughs> Statham plays like a psychotic. Because it's all about like prison. Yes, of course he does. I'm gonna use the European term so I don't confuse anyone. It's prison prisoners who play football. So, Turkey's just playing a fucking goalie who has, like, psycho dreams in the middle of a match where he just imagines, like, beating the other team into submission when he, like, flashes back to reality and blocks the goalie. It's like, oh, shit. You know? <laughs> Sorry, I was, it's like I was caught up just, like, breaking people's necks and shit. It was, oh, so good. It was so good. Damn. I don't know the that name sounds, of it, though. That hilarious. Fuck, what was it called? Because Adam Sandler made a movie called The Longest Yard, oh. which is a remake. Of it, I, uh, of uh, the original, because I think even yeah, the British one was a remake. Yeah, and it's probably awful because by fucking Adam Sandler. <sighs> These movies used to be like decent. Yeah, it was a long, long time ago, though. You remember Happy Gilmore? Pepperidge Farms remembers Happy Gilmore. <laughs> Actually, I don't. It's an alright movie. It, it oh, Adam, okay. Adam Sandler's movies have have the same problem. Is, and that is that every movie winds up like being like really rude and funny in the beginning, and then he meets a girl, and then he like tries yeah. to end up his act. So yeah, that's that's his shtick, I would say. Well, it was until it just became scamming Hollywood. <laughs> I mean, if it's profitable, you can't you can't really blame the guy. Let's be honest. Sure, you can. <laughs> I suppose, yeah. Did you see what he did to Al Pacino? No, well... Well, just, uh... I think I linked you to that George Schmidt guy on YouTube. You should 
just look through his videos a little bit. You'll find a video pertaining to uh, Al Pacino and, and Jack and Jill. Oh, God. He, and he's in that. He, he dragged poor Al Pacino into this, didn't he? Yep. Bing. And yeah. it was basically a commercial where Jeez. he sang, and it was awful. Shit, son. It's Al Pacino. Come check out his Dunkachino. His what? His Dunkachino. Oh my god. Fucking die in a river. Ah, uh, it's not even clever. Nope. And not they, at gave all. Him, they gave him a suit where he, when he ripped open his jacket, it had donuts all over the uh, vest and shit. I'm like, you just. Uh, just please, please die. Yeah, none of this is humorous or funny or whatever. Jesus. Somebody please explain to a fucking Adam Sandler what comedy actually is. Because he seems to have forgotten. <laughs> Apparently. <clears throat> Who else remembers Pixels? Oh my god. I know Don't people who went to started. see it. I know people who went to see it. I'm like, why would you support that crap? Like, oh, you, you just gotta see it. I'm like, no, you don't. No, you don't. You're supporting garbage, and that's why garbage keeps getting made. Yep. You wanna know why the Transformers movies keeps getting made? Because you guys keep watching them. That's why the Ghostbusters remake or reboot got greenlit. That's all, all because of you fucks. Well, hey, you know what? All because of you fucking assholes who keep watching Adam Sandler movies ironically. You know what? Let's... Stop it. Let, let's just be glad that Ghostbusters isn't getting a sequel. <laughs> oh, it isn't? Thank fuck for oh, that. Oh no, it was a disaster. Yeah. I mean, that, that's that's what happens when you just point a camera at your actors and tell them to improvise, you know? Yeah, that didn't work out too good. No. That's a... That's a thing that- also, also that- also the director of that movie is a fucking hack, if I've ever seen one. Whole thing's an idiot, yeah. Yeah, he's a fucking moron. But like... Uh, like that's, not that's, that's not directing a movie. It's just telling people to keep talking about nonsense without a script. That's- that's not what filmmaking is about. Yeah, well I mean, a lot of the yeah. best lines in Ghostbusters were improvised, Our but the thing is... Those actors are good with improv. A lot of them kind of need... A, some, some can't do that. Yeah, I mean... I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that the actors in uh, in the reboot aren't good with improv. They probably are, but even if you uh, even if you improvise, you gotta have something to go off of. Yeah. Something to bounce off of, you know? Yeah, I don't know they, any They didn't have anything. I, I, don't, I don't blame the actors, I blame the fucking director. A moron. I, I don't know any of the actresses in it because uh, I don't watch enough movies <laughs> to know yeah. any of that. But I mean, most most of them were uh, I think stand-up comedians, so that could be good. I mean, I don't know. I don't watch much of that either, except for uh, Jim Jeffries, which you know. Whenever, oh God, Jim Jeffries. Yeah. Whenever there's great. a uh, horrible tragedy involving guns, it's just <coughs> mandatory to turn on his comedy routine and go. Yes. <sighs> if I, I wonder how this could happen. Hmm. If only he was actually a senator instead of just a comedian. Oh god, yes. But he can't be because he's Australian. He can be a senator. Can he? Yeah, um... I don't, I don't know the rules of, over there, so... Wait, I, 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 th I just thought you, you can't be, uh... I know you can't be president if you're not born in the United States. Yeah. That I know. Yeah, that, that, that much is true. Um, Which is nonsensical in and of itself, but oh well. Uh, I don't fucking know, or really... Care. Yeah, I can't put any mind into politics. I know Schwarzenegger was the governor, so maybe yeah. I'm wrong in the senator part. Well, uh, I, yeah, if you, uh, that's a good point. It, it surely doesn't apply to a senator, because otherwise he wouldn't have... Uh, or governor, but otherwise he wouldn't have Schwarzenegger mm -hmm. doing his thing over there. Oh, so this guy just lived a fucking dream, let's be honest. Holy shit. <laughs> that, that was just started out. I mean, come on, he started out as a Austrian uh, fucking bodybuilder. Went over there and said, yeah, you know what, I, I, I want to run for... Uh, I want to run for fucking senator and bang... Whose daughter, I think, was it Elvis Presley? I don't know. I 
don't know. Which he did, because of course he fucking did, because he's fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. He just gave zero fucks. None. He lived his goddamn dream and he did a good job of it. Yeah. I can't say how good of a governor he was, but... Uh... Isn't, isn't he still governor? No, he, he's, he's been done for a little while now. Oh, right. My sister didn't like him, but... Uh... My sister and I don't see eye to eye on a lot of things, <laughs> so... Yeah. I mean, how can you not like him? Come on. Well, I mean, maybe he's not a good governor. Who the hell knows? Fuck if I know. Still a fun guy. Sure enough. I and mean, quite liberal. It's quite liberal from, from what I've gathered, which is surprising to me, because he... Isn't he, isn't he Republican? Yeah, uh, I think so. Yeah, but still... Really on the liberal side of, uh, of. Anyway, we're not gonna we're not gonna get into this because you know. No, true. A, there's no point, and B, there's, there's really no point. We can say one thing about him being a liberal, though. He liberally applied bullets in a lot of movies. Yeah, yeah, that he did. I'm looking for Sarah Connor. <laughs> Sarah Connor. I'm gonna need your jacket, your boots. No, wait, what, what was it again? I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. Yes, right. Thank you. That's... Laundry I suck day. At movie quotes. Laundry day. Nothing clean, right? Nothing clean, right? Your clothes, <laughs> give them to me. Now. <laughs> now. I fucking love this guy. I love him so much. He's a good time. I, I did have. Uh, mm. My friend ha ran into my house one day, he's like, I gotta show you this video. And it was Epic Meal Time, I'm like, I'm not huge on these guys, and all of a sudden Schwarzenegger's in it, I'm like, What the fuck? Yas! <laughs> all of my yas! Let's cook with <laughs> my fucking tank. Alright! You win the points. <laughs> you win all the points, I'm going home now. Yeah, yeah boy! I'm trying to remember the one Schwarzenegger quote that I have a hard time getting out, but it's fucking hilarious if I can manage it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> I hope there's enough room for my fist because I'm about to ram it into your stomach and rip out your goddamn spine! <laughs> <laughs> was that last action hero? I don't no. know, but I fucking love that line. I had to uh, rewind it like four or five times. Like, my god, who wrote this line? They needed a, they needed a fucking Academy Award. They need a ra they need a at least a race stat. <laughs> Damn. So fucking awful. <laughs> this green beret is gonna kick your ass. I eat green berets for breakfast. <laughs> you know what would, what, what would be fucking great? A movie with Schwarzenegger and Nicolas Cage in it. <laughs> Preferably with as many uh, scenes. Uh, with as many uh, scenes where both of them are in the movie as possible. Not the bees! Don't worry, <laughs> I'll terminate the bees! <laughs> I just need that other guy from that really awkward movie. I did not hit her, I did not. Mm. Oh, hi, Arnold! Oh. <laughs> Tommy Wiseau. Sure, I don't know his name. I, I don't even want to know his name. So fucking awkward. I, I, am so, I am so glad to have you as my best friend. God, he's so awful. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told you, I greet my brother and my dad <laughs> with movie quotes every time. I'm like, oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. And then I see my dad, I'm like, howdy, Quid. <laughs> <laughs> every fucking time. <laughs> and if it's any fucking kind of... Great. If it's any kind of summary of how my house operates, none of yeah. them ever like went like, "What are you saying?" They're just like, "Oh hi," they they, they oh, hi, just Mark. they just don't care. They're like, "Yeah, you know, we're all idiots in this house." Yeah, they're, they're all in on on the memes. Kind of. I don't think my well, my dad doesn't know the the uh, the oh hi Mark thing. Cause, I mean, good God, <laughs> why would you? Yeah. I mean, he in the right mind would. He does watch some seriously awful shit. Like, uh, what do you watch? Um, a movie called Beach, I think, where the beach was uh, a sentient killing machine. Whoa. So, like, yes. So That sounds awesome. I need to see that. <laughs> it, it's on Netflix, I believe. Just, if you can find it. Of, co of course it is. Hang on. Let, let me look this up. Let me look this up. Hang on. You know what? <laughs> you and Spike. You and yes. Spike. Watch that. 
and tell me what you yes. think because I walked in and I'm like, I have to leave. I'm going to have an aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and Spike, we still need to have a bad, uh, a bad movie evening or something. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Have you well, seen? Have you seen Buckaroo Banzai? Not yet. No. Fucking, dude. <laughs> 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 you have to! Yeah. Dude, he's like... He's a rock star... Astrophysicist... <laughs> like... Do you, you have to! Yeah. You have to watch it! It's... Okay, Beach is not on Netflix, it seems, but... There's a, there's a movie that, that sounds really interesting, or a documentary, rather. Being Elmo, A Puppeteer's Journey. And that sounds so great, I need to see that. Yeah, but that sounds like it's got some quality behind it. That's not something you... No. Yeah! You gotta watch something else. <laughs> you gotta watch something garbage. <laughs> Buckaroo oh, yeah, Banzai. We, we, still, we still need to... Uh, we still need to watch... Uh, what's it called? Birdemic? Oh, God. <laughs> Ooh. That was probably too loud for the uh, viewers. I apologize if anyone's actually listening to my audio. God, why would you? <laughs> Just listen to Sega Genesis music all the time. Um, yeah, why would you watch anything quality? My god. <laughs> what a waste of time. Look, Relicious is in the chat room. Relicious, have you seen... Yeah, yeah! Have you seen Buckaroo Banzai? And if you haven't, stop watching this stream immediately and go watch it. Dude, don't tell me to stop watching the stream, you idiot. Look, just because he's a single viewer... <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean we gotta subject him to torture. Yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, we already do by streaming, so. Buckaroo Banzai. Fucking look it up. It's brilliant. It stars a guy <laughs> who played sounds Robocop. Hilarious. Stars a guy who played Robocop. He's a, he's a, like an astrophysicist, rock star. It, it's fucking horrendously amazing. <laughs> In all the right ways, it's... it seems. It's so good. <laughs> no, you should be amazed. <laughs> you should absolutely be amazed. It's it's from the 80s, so you know it's good for one thing. Yeah. How could you be scared of the guy from the guy who plays Robocop? I mean, he's just gold. Yeah. Well, he's more like metallic, you know, blue. Gunmetal blue, one might say. <clears throat> Dude. Ye. Rude. Dude. Dude, huh? Dude, huh? Yeah, Buckaroo Bonsai. Totally fucking worth it. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely on my list of awful movies to watch. Because holy crap, this sounds amazing. Yeah, I did not want to watch Everything that movie. Everything about it sounds amazing. I didn't want to watch it, and then by the end of it, I'm like, okay. Alright. I'm in! That was- this was a good <laughs> movie. I have to recommend it to everyone I see from now on. <laughs> and from that, from, from that day forward, I now wear uh, only 90s kind of clothes, you know, like bright, you know, neon colors. I walk around. Have you heard of the good book, Buckaroo Banzai, which is actually a movie? <laughs> Do you have a minute to talk about our Lord and Savior, Buckaroo Banzai? <laughs> It has been written that one day he will come and be awesome. <laughs> I have no idea how that movie got greenlit because it's so bewilderingly ridiculous. <laughs> the, the elevator pitch must have just been the man handing over a bag of coke with mushrooms in it and just going like, Yes, I agree. This would be a good thing to invest in. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> it's just fucking great. <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't be streaming that if I wouldn't get a fucking digital millennial co copyright act, uh, copyright, you know, thing against me. Yeah, a DMCA. Oh. <laughs> well, the least you can do is just tell people about its glory. This is true. I did see someone uh, talking about um, some kind of, um, I, I forgot what it was, it was like some old movie technology, and they said, I only had three movies, it was like, 
you know, a good movie, a bad movie, and he's like, Buckaroo Banzai, so obviously I've <laughs> only put in, obviously I only put in the good movie, I'm like, you are a shitty reviewer, and I'm never to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> you have terrible taste for not liking ridiculous movies. Yeah. What's not to like about ridiculous movies? Come on. This is, this is the truth. If it's if it's the right kind of ridiculous, you know? Yeah. Like, hmm. I wouldn't even say the self-aware, because sometimes movies that like any any semblance of self-awareness can be hilarious too. This is true. But I don't know. I'm trying to think of other absurd movies that I've seen at least <laughs> somewhat recently, and I just can't. <laughs> um, Student Bodies was pretty ridiculous. Wh which one? Student Bodies. Never heard of it. Um, it's the first um horror movie parody, I think. Um, you know, like think um, what's it called? Um. Like, anything to do with teenagers getting fucking horrendously murdered. Yeah, uh, slasher movies. Yeah, it, it's like that. It, it's just... It's almost uh, on the level of a Mel Brooks kind of thing of stupid. Oh, good. Have you seen Blazing Saddles? I think I did. Hang on. You would know if you saw Blazing Saddles. <laughs> I don't think you need a reminder if, of that one. Because I can't even quote that movie. It, it would get I'm us... pretty sure I did, I just don't really recall. It's, it's It must have been ages. It's got the guy from Willy Wonka in it. They use a specific word throughout the entire movie. A very specific Oh word. god, I... Like, looking at the screenshots, I can already think which one it that, that would be. Damn. <laughs> Couldn't imagine which one it'll be. Part R, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh god, yes! <laughs> I mean, maybe not at the time, but now? Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> it's so fucking ridiculous. Oh my god. It's got I'm fucking in, dude. It's got cowboys in it. It's got Nazis in it. What? <laughs> Mel Brooks, of course, Ow. it's got Nazis in it. Oh yeah, right. I, su I, su I suppose that's right. <laughs> oh Mel god. fucking Brooks. The comedy genius man himself. Oh god, yes. So much yes. So, oh. Relicious, what, what has you in this wonderfully horrible stream where we're talking about Ye movies that we can't even quote because... Because <laughs> words. <laughs> words are used. <laughs> words. Mel motherfucking Brooks, son. Don't you mean Mel yeah. fucking Brooks, you schmuck? Because you can't, you cannot quote Mel Brooks without saying schmuck. Yeah, without a little bit of Yiddish in there. I, I, I saw this whole thing where he was being interviewed, and he's like, it's like cursing's fine and whatever, you know. But you know what? We really just gotta bring back the one special word because you don't hear it these days. Schmuck. Mm -hmm. Where is schmuck? No one uses it anymore. That's a good point. Where is schmuck? It's a good campaign. I mean, I'm, I'm for that cause. Yeah. I, I I almost quoted one of the lines. You smoke behind people's backs. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a good idea, schmuck. Uh. Oh my god! I almost quoted the movie. I really wanted to, but I can't. It'd be bad. Yeah. You get flagged the fuck out of YouTube, dude. <laughs> it's brilliant. I showed that to uh, Gio and his girlfriend, and I don't think they appreciated it as much. So they they kind of like they didn't laugh really much. Like they only laughed like once or twice. But like, like fuck, yeah. I thought this movie was great. <laughs> it's, it's fucking, it's, it's ridiculous. It's fucking Mel Brooks. How how could you not laugh? Come on. This get a stick out of your ass. Sir, there's something on the radar. Is it? I think it's a Winnebago. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Look, e e even even without comics, uh, even without comics, <laughs> even without 
Even without context, that line is hilarious. It's a weird bacon. What? Raspberry. Um, I hate raspberry. Only one man would give me the raspberry. Lone Star. <laughs> Been inking waifus all day. Well, fair enough. Weeb. <laughs> hey, you, we've confirmed you're the weeb of the group. Well, maybe not compared yeah. to delicious. <laughs> Absolutely. You just outed yourself, bro. <laughs> Rolicious with the uh, the weeb contest. That turned my yeah. Right. This fucking cat, look at this. I don't have your your stream up, unfortunately. I should, but I don't. Would you? Also, we have a lurker in the chat room. Who doesn't Do want to say now? hello? A lurker. <laughs> and I've got a cat on my desk over there. On my little workbench. My brain, since you stuttered, my brain inserted something else into that that sentence. Geo. That would be a very different conversation. Let's <laughs> 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 try not to say anything, but I'm fucking crying again because I'm fucking just laughing so hard. <laughs> fucking idiot! God damn it! Oh. No. Yeah, somebody has to be the weep, right? I get all my anime stuff from uh, from games because I just don't watch anything these days. I mean, I haven't even finished the first season of One Punch Man. Cause it... Heretic. Yeah, see, that that makes you the weep of the group. <laughs> Yeah. Funny thing is, I'm the one who told you to watch it. One Punch Man is fucking awesome. I know, but I'm the one who told you to watch it. You're like, oh, I don't know. They're like, dude, it's fucking awesome. I'm like, isn't it? And then you beat it. You beat me to watch the rest of it. Of course it did. I also beat you uh, to watching uh, most of Gumball. Oh god, I haven't even finished season one. Oh my! I have, Jesus Christ, I, dude! Gotta I, step up your game, man. Stop watching it. I gotta watch it again. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry! <laughs> what the fuck are you even doing, dude? I, I don't know. Get, get, work? get on that shit. Like, right now. What am I doing? Two comics. <laughs> what if that's in you? That's in you. Well, you, you, could, you, could just, you could just watch Gumball while drawing, you know? That's uh, a thing. Sorry, it's hard to watch something like that. Or, uh, it's hard to work on comics when you're laughing your tits off. <laughs> And I swear to God, this fucking show is getting better by the season. It's a, it's amazing. I've never seen this ever in any other show. Uh, hmm. Star Trek The Next Generation got better as it went on. No. Yeah, probably. Probably. All right. <laughs> no. I can I can fucking tell. I'm not, I'm not a Trekkie. You should watch Star Trek. It's a good show. No. Yeah, I... I I know that, but still. It's got good values in it. Good, good values? Mm, quiet. <laughs> yeah, it's quiet. Mm. Quite verily. The mayor of value town. Which is Trump. Not that one. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> the other one. Alright, I don't know the other one, but alright. The Hearthstone streamer. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, we're taking. He's a, he's a nice guy, with an unfortunate name. I, I don't watch Hearthstone stuff, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's always fun to say. Well, Trump is a nice guy, not that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a that is a very British joke that always makes me laugh. Yeah. Um, Jim Sterling did a video yeah. on, uh, where he just kept doing that, and I was just like, it's like it's fun. camera, not that one. It's just. Funny every fucking time. 
it's funny because it because it's uh, because he repeats it so often. I guess. True enough. I don't know. Yeah. James Cameron, not that one. <laughs> Riches have a talent for making me laugh. Well, yeah. Duh. Like I think. Um, I think Ashens had me crying <laughs> more than on more than one occasion. Yeah. We, we had a Ashens also has great fucking comedic timing. He's amazing. Yeah, he's pretty brilliant with uh, a lot of it. Um, yeah, jump cut. We we had a um, we had a family like tragedy one day. We were in the hospital for a while, so mm -hmm. um, I was trying to help my uh, my dad kind of like calm down because he was like you know a real wreck. So I managed oh, to get a Wi-Fi connection and I started playing one of the Ashens videos and he just fucking just was dying <laughs> from one of the like the lines. It was the uh, the violin one. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. I I love that video way too much, you know, because I sent it to you ten times. But you know, it's yeah. it's great. <laughs> Ashes is the national treasure. It's fucking good. Made me laugh way too hard. The sharpest knife mm. was the other video that nearly killed oh me. Oh my god, the sharpest knife is awesome. <laughs> the sharpest knife in the world! Well <laughs> that's what that did a test. Hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. We gonna call the we gonna call it we gonna do call the cops? I'll sell your no, your bloody Nino tires off, mate. It's like what the <laughs> fuck does that even mean? What does that mean? What does it mean? How to get burned? How to get burned? How to get burned? <laughs> I don't know what it means. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Shit, dude. I am I, I'm what Relicious is uh, to animate to uh, British comedy with me. I, I just eat it up. Mm hmm. Same here. Again, Especially Monty P fucking Python because nothing beats Monty fucking Python. Oi! <laughs> What's up, Relicious? I keep seeing what, everyone in the, in the chat dying. I don't know, dude. Like, the users keep going in and out. It's weird. Yeah. So I'm wondering if there's some kind of technical bullshit going on. Uh, this better not be a problem caused by uh, restream. No, I've I've got the same thing on my end. So clickety clack. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a confirmation from him to make sure the stream is going okay. At the very least, we'll have a decent recording of us being morons. <laughs> morons. Despite me rendering everything at like a lower uh, thing, and it takes so long to render these streams. Yeah, I guess. Also, they're way over an hour and shit, so of course it will. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> the, the worst is when it fucking randomly uh, decides to crash, and I'm just like, cool. There's three hours I gotta re-render this thing at. Fucking hell, I love the Road Rush soundtrack. Like, it's it's a little little harsh, but I like mm -hmm. it. <clears throat> I mean, it's amazing what they achieved with the tech back in the day. Well, here's the thing that really confuses me. It, um, I, I'm 90% sure the guy uh, who made the soundtrack did something where he hooked up a keyboard and managed to just play directly into it because it sounds way too natural and, mm -hmm. like, imperfect for it to be, like, just a mini sheet, you know? Yeah. I mean, probably. Well, the guy I'm wrote some kind of could. algorithm for it at the times, uh, so... It's gotta Man, be. Man, fuck. Fuck if I know, dude. Maybe you should know. Maybe I should. But, sadly, I don't. Uh, I can I can see his channel. Um, that uh, this guy who worked for uh, Traveler's Tales talked about how he got 
or how he programmed some games for the uh, Genesis and overcame some system limitations. I was mm. so taken by like everything I'm saying. Like, like how the fuck? That's how you did it. Because yeah. uh, Sonic 3D Blast has a full motion video in it on on the Genesis, and that's like that's something. How the fuck did you do that? And the way he talked about it is like what we did was like we rendered the video really, really, really short, so it's not a very tall video. And then what we did was we uh -huh. extended the video to be like you know taller vertically, and insert an algorithm what? to make it dithered. And I'm just like, whoa! I'm like, that's how you did it. That's genius. He's like, the video would normally take up four megs, which would be way too big. He's like, we got it down yeah. to like a couple of K. I'm like, <laughs> Oh, you're playing Overwatch. Cool. Oh, Rage Simulator. <laughs> Pretty much. I thought you were done playing that game. What is wrong with you? Oh, I think I know what's wrong with him. Symmetra <laughs> got a really, uh, really, uh, waifu skin. Of course you did. Now you're grinding the skin out? Is that it? Could be. I mean, Halloween, I think they might only let you uh, get it during Halloween. I gotta admit, I saw that skin and I was like, shit, that is fucking cool. I love that. Fuck Symmetra, never mind. <laughs> theory, theory gone. <laughs> She's trashed you. Uh, her skin's fucking amazing. The, the thing that pisses me off is that uh, diva has got a cool skin. But not in Overwatch, it's in whatever other game that she's in. It's like, uh, Heroes of the Storm? Sure, I don't fucking know. I, I don't... Yeah, it's, it's probably Heroes. Yeah, she's got like a... Let, me look, this... Let she... me look this skin up, because Overwatch character designs are fucking awesome. Yeah, it's about the only thing I can get into these days with. Yeah, say, say about Blizzard what you will, but they're characters. <laughs> you cut out. Sorry, I was saying, say about Blizzard what you will, but their character designs most of the time. Listen, Rolly, I don't like Blizzard games. I got, I have a thing against always online DRM-filled games. Yeah. Oh my god, you got a, uh... What, what's she called? Uh... God damn it. Diablo skin? Demon skin? I don't know who you look at. Uh, the bad chick from Star uh, from Starcraft. Oh, uh, what's she called again? Kerrigan. Yeah, exactly. She she looks exactly like Kerrigan. I'm awful with names, and you're making me fucking bring up all these things. And of all the people that know a fucking Blizzard name, what is wrong with me? <laughs> yeah. Fuck I mean, you you can't be that awful. Come on. You're, you're better than me, it seems. I am really bad. <laughs> there, there have been moments where I've looked at a person that I've like had over here a few times. Like they're not like friends, friends yet, but I'm just like, I go to say their name. I'm just like, you know what? I'm not gonna say their name because I'm not confident I know their name right. <laughs> I've, I've caught myself, um, you know, when my brother got like a new girlfriend, and he's been like dating her for like months at, already at this point. I'm like. Hey! Right. And then I'm like, I catch myself before hey, I say the wrong name. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> hey, uh, you? How's it going? <laughs> Almost said the wrong name a few times. I'm, I'm just yeah. glad enough that I stutter enough that I can catch myself to, to stop myself. <laughs> I'm glad I got a thutter. Oh wait, no, no, no. Let me, let me, let me, sorry, let me say that again. I'm glad I got a, got a stutter. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my god, Speak, speaking of stutter, there's this uh, YouTube channel called Geek Critique that I more or less regularly watch. And, like, this guy has some really, really nice points and some good critiques of, uh, of Metroid games and stuff. Yeah. Among, among others, some really, really in-depth uh, uh, reviews and retros retrospectives. I, I, oh my god, he's got he's got a bad, bad lisp. Oh. Uh. I, I, would, I wouldn't even know if, if, you could, if you could call it a lisp, because it, it just sounds like he's got a, a mouth full of spit at all times. Which one is this? The, is this the guy you sent me who talks about Metroid? Um, uh, Geek Critique, it's I, called. Okay, I don't think I saw that one. I think you sent me another video with that. Um, King K, I sent you, I think. 
Yeah. No, no, wait, that, that, that was Mark Brown. That, that was from it, Game, yeah. Maker, Game Maker's Toolkit, yeah. Who, Which is also a fucking amazing channel. Everyone should, everyone should follow. Whose videos really remind me of Stuart Brown's videos, uh, Xbox Ahoy's. Really? Yeah, yeah, now that you mention it, yeah. I'm like, I was half wondering, like, are they brothers and just sharing shit because, like, they are <laughs> so similar with their editing? Mm-hmm. Well, maybe not the editing because, you know, Stuart Brown has a very, very distinct editing, editing style. Like holy crap, this guy's on point. It's still it's still pretty close in some regards. Like there's some like little things that I caught on to. I'm like, mm, that's weird. Hmm. Um, yeah. Damn it, I forgot what I was gonna say. I was uh, I was gonna. I was just like, oh, the person who has a lisp that I watched recently a few videos of is uh, Kim Justice. Yep. Um. Really I've heard of him. Really thick on the uh, W's. Hmm. And is self-aware about it because I was watching or. Er, some uh, review of like the t 10 or 20 worst Sega Genesis games and yeah my god it was like you know this is the worst rubbish I've ever what on my oh. system. I was like I was like I was like holy crap and I scrolled down and someone like teased it and the Kim Justice replied no, like don't, you know, don't be don't do that no no Kim Justice was is aware of it and did it intentionally to oh. like really slather on the wubbies yeah Look, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to put this guy Geek Critique on a spot here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it, this is not by any means a roast or something. I'm just saying it's... I love his stuff, it's just really hard not to pay attention to his lisp, sadly. It's, it's, it's not... As I said, it's, it's not mean-spirited what, uh, what I'm trying to say here, but oh well. No, I get what you're saying. Sometimes it can yeah. be distracting. Um, yeah. I forgot who... Which is too bad because his his uh, production values are really really good. He's he's quite good with good with editing and making his points and stuff. It's pretty damn good stuff. It's just that the lisp is very distracting. I have a I have a problem when someone smacks their chops, uh, so to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, you know when they like, they go yeah like uh, I, yeah that I know. puts me off their commentary. I'm just like all right, you're annoying. Did someone say yeah. justice? Sorry, I had to pay attention to the chat room. <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw Pro ZD's video. Uh, you know, hey, Sung Wo Wang. No, it's uh, Sung Wan. <laughs> it's, it's when white people are trying to pronounce Asian people names, pretty much. Oh God! <laughs> it, was, it was a fucking funny video. Um, uh, I would look it up, but what was the guy called with the ten thousand voices? Oh no. fuck! I don't know. Maybe I'll the look. one Asian dude that does tons of impressions, he's oh, amazing. Oh, Sung, Sung, uh, Sung, Sung Wong. Oh, really? Yeah, the guy we're talking about. Yeah. The, uh, the oh, right, right, that's that's the guy. Oh, okay, cool. No, this guy is incredible. <laughs> incredible. I've never heard anything like it. There you go, it's in the chat. Right. Chatteronis. There we go. Oh, yeah, Sung Wong. Yeah. <laughs> and I have to say I'm I'm guilty of that. I but I can't pronounce shit in general. Yeah. Well, at least you admit it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it makes me feel so much better. <laughs> yeah. I feel so much better about my inac inadequacies. <laughs> As I said, my my crowning moment in being able to not pronounce shit is um, shit. Shit is um, shit. <laughs> in Final Fantasy VII, I've never heard of the word Molotovs, and I called them what? I called them Motivlos because oh I Molotovs, yeah. Yeah, I never heard that word until Final Fantasy VII. So, and I was like, I don't know, eleven when I played. So I I just fucking made shit up. I was like, oh Motivlos, yeah, that. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Motive lose. Yeah, I Damn, don't... dude. That's just inserting words in there. Yeah. Letters, rather. Words, too. I mean, it's all kinds of retarded. Yeah. Uh... Oh, boy. Words. Words and stuff. 
By the way, I have just a random thought that just crossed my mind. You, you did finish Prey, you said, right? Yeah. Did you find the golden gun? No. Uh, I'm aware of it. Uh, I didn't find it. Oh, all I, right. I went in totally blind in the game, so whatever I found, I found myself, and I was very happy. Yeah, as did, as did I. I'm... Uh, I, I went totally blind in, into the game. Uh, I only looked to, looked up a guide once because I got really, really stuck uh, uh, and I forgot to loot so, uh, somebody's corpse for a uh, for a key card. So uh, anyway, yeah, the golden gun is beast. It's fucking beast, dude. Is it? Yeah, it's uh, almost as good as a, f a fully upgraded pistol by default and you can upgrade this, this thing. Oh damn, that's ridiculous. Yeah, it pretty much is. Aside from the accuracy, maybe. I mean, it's got, it's got um, a magazine size of 15 by default, <laughs> accuracy of 60%. Every time I hear about a, a pistol with an absurd yeah, magazine that's, capacity... Yeah, silly. Every, every time I hear about a pistol with a magazine capacity like that, I always go back to that one video where the guy ejects the magazine from his pistol and it just goes on yes. for like five minutes and he's like ramming another one in. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> mm. Um, the, ext the extended mag for the uh, double barrel shotgun is also fucking hilarious. <laughs> that was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Also, like something uh, I haven't finished yet, so I'm st I'm still uh, trying to figure out stuff. Like who you actually are, among other things. Oh, also, I, it, it, I called that pretty just, early on. <laughs> yeah. Because this fucking game throws so many twists at you. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right from the start. Like the first time that I uh, 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 that I smashed this fucking window, I was my mind was just blown out. My, like, my, my head was just racing with all the possibilities. What the fuck is even going on? Yeah, I sat there for it's, a it's, good minute, like... How did they do that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know exactly how they uh, how they did it. It's really easy, actually. It's just that, that they've never... Uh, that nobody's ever done this in the, at, at this scale in the game. Yeah, certainly. But that's, that's why I was so frustrated why they didn't do mirrors. All they would have to do is just have another character model on the mm. other side. They could have mm. done it. They coulda. Don't even. Then again, I, I'm, I'm guessing the mirrors, like the, uh, the mirrors not displaying anything, is a pretty big deal in that game. Like not to give a plot twist, uh, plot twist away. Uh, Just like it was with Soma. Uh. Oh wait. Well, you haven't beaten the game, so you don't know what you're talking about. So. Not yet. No. No. Uh. Oh, it isn't. All right. Well, I'm not saying anything. I, I'm, I'm saying like. Like I, what was it? I don't explain what I was trying to say in, in actual words. Uh, <laughs> words. Um, no, I'm just frustrated that they didn't do it. Is basically it? Because it, of all the games that should have been able to do it, it's this one. <laughs> mm-hmm. Again, I'm, I'm guessing like with uh, modern rendering, mirrors would be, uh, uh, would take up a lot of stuff. Eh, they just use the also, fucking. Also with all, with as with all the uh, post processing and shit, I don't know. They just have to use the looking glass thing on there, and it it work fine. Fuck if I know, dude. I'm not a game designer. I can't really entirely comment, but I'm just saying they should. Yeah. Doom just, three managed to do it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? What managed it? Doom three. Right, the Doom 3 engine did this, but I uh, like the first Prey also had work, but they used the exact same thing that uh, that we discussed earlier that that, that even the Nintendo 64 did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I know. Which is just mirroring a room. Yeah, which isn't hard. Basically. Oh, um, did you see Digital Foundry's video on Metal Gear Solid 2? I think I did. If you haven't, I'm not sure. If you haven't, I highly suggest checking it out because it will fucking blow your mind how they made that game work. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, I know they had tons of fucking effects in there and uh, crazy, crazy little details. Well, it's not only just that, like, it's just like, because they did things that I didn't think the PS2 was capable of, and it turns out it isn't. They were just really good at faking it. Ah. I see. Like, the reflective floors, it's... The floor is actually semi-transparent, and mm -hmm. they just have lower resolution, lower detail models on the other side. Yeah, that's that's what most "quote unquote" reflections did. <laughs> but PS2, I mean, that's not exactly a really powerful system. It's sporting a God, what was it? It's under 200 megahertz. No, under 300 megahertz. Just <laughs> that's cute. Very, very cute. Mm-hmm. But hell, that system had some really impressive games. Yeah. I mean, for, for games, you can't fault the fucking PS2 at all. Holy shit. That system had games for days. And now you can buy them again. Remastered. Mm-hmm. Because we're out of ideas. Because and games. money, apparently. Because otherwise, we wouldn't be needing fucking loot boxes in every game. Oh god, people are still defending that, and it makes me sad. Yeah, I occasionally see uh, a few common threads on Facebook, and I'm like, it's just like, you got fucking asshole, stop it. Mm -hmm. Stop supporting this lazy ass design decisions. It's, no, just don't. Yeah, the, I, the, my favorite one is, you know, video game creators need to make money too. I'm like, yeah, they can through DLC and, you know, other good <laughs> means, not, you know, being dicks about it. Yeah, call yeah. Jim fucking Sterling. Call Jim fucking Sterling, son. <laughs> he's He's been on the case about that for ages now. The sad truth is, loot boxes probably aren't going anywhere unless somebody steps in and is like, yo, this ESRB. is gambling. Yeah, ESRB, which already said, no, loot boxes aren't fucking gambling, which, in my opinion, they're fucking out of their bloody minds. They're wrong. I'm sorry. I, I've already had the they're, argument yeah. with people, and their comparison to... Um, trading cards it, is nonsense. It doesn't add up. It doesn't work because no, trading cards all. are the game, and trading mm -hmm. cards you, you know, that's what you're you're buying them to play the game. It is not you're buying a yes. game and getting trading cards. Also, trading cards have value. You can trade them with other people for other cards or cards. Exactly. Cards. That's why they're called trading cards. Yeah, and that's the name. And if you want a specific one, you can go to like a flea market, find that specific one, and buy it. Yeah. Magic the, Magic the Gathering has a whole subsection of, uh, like a sub, what should we call it, a sub economy of selling and buying trading cards well, by themselves. Go. Like some trading cards go up to hundreds, even thousands of dollars because they're so rare and so sought after. Yeah, like so, the Black Lotus, which I'm the only card oh aware that's rare. Yeah. Black Lotus, like uh, the Mox Cycle. Basically, the Power 9 cards, which are banned in pretty much every single format, but are still so powerful and so rare that people are willing to shell out thousands of dollars for them. I just have to take your word on it, because I never played Magic the Gathering. I kind of collected them for a little bit, because I was like, oh, these are really <laughs> cool looking. But I'm like, wow, these are getting expensive, so I think I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I got a... Yeah, it's, 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 it's a really expensive hobby. I'll give you that. Yeah, but... I mean... The, the thing that I've started doing... Now, because I, mm. I've already tr tried explaining it to these people, and they always just try and twist the conversation around, like, oh, but, you know, they're like, oh, it doesn't affect the game. I'm like, sure it does. And they're like, oh, but sure the developers does. gotta make money. So now I'm just gonna say, this is what I say from now on. Okay. But what does it add to the game? Mm -hmm. They have nothing to say. The, the, the only answer I got was, well, you know, it can help you speed along. I'm like, really? That's what cheat codes are for, you know, which are normally free, so... Yeah. What benefit does it have over cheat codes? No answers. Right. Just start asking questions, because they can't fucking answer them. They just want to defend yep. the company and play fucking crappy games. Warner Brothers Wait. isn't a company worth defending. Does, it, does anyone remember Arkham Knight? No! Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. I think I used the wrong oh my thing God. here. Mm. Uh, some th something else you could bring up. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's like Ninja Studio. Oh, yeah. Fucking Ninja Studio. They made Hellblade, Senior Sacrifice, a 
title that looks and feels like a triple eight a triple eight title <laughs> by may or if, if may just quote jim sterling for a second there because i fully agree with that notion like a triple a no fuck it yeah um, no yeah I, I but still, it, it's it's a it's a title that by all means should be uh, a triple a ex experience "Quote unquote," or a, a, a game that can hold its uh, that can hold its own against the AAA industry it has some fucking really mature and ballsy as fuck um, subject matter and displays it in a really really ballsy and mature way and respectful way. I should add, and it, it costs thirty fucking dollars. No DLC, no microtransactions, not nothing. Thing you know how they did it? They, they cut out the middleman, they cut out the publisher. Well, and That's what's eating up all the money. Yeah, they don't... Well, the publishers are making tons of money, as Super Bunny Hop discovered. Yeah. Um, where they're just hoarding By dodging money. fucking taxes! Yeah, they're making plenty of money. They don't fucking... Yeah! They don't need this, so... This is just greed, plain and simple. And... Absol yeah, absolutely. And I... Also... Like, I even said to, in a lot of these threads, I'm like, I have no problems with DLC. You know, it's usually no. It could be good, and you know what? I don't need as skin. long as it's not, as long as it's not on on the disc. Well, then I'm fine with it. That's such a hard argument to have because, like, if you're if you have a fighting game, it has to be on there, or otherwise. Yeah, sure, but still. Otherwise, it, the other users feels, can't see it. Yeah. You know, I know. It feels weird. I know. With with the skins, I don't care. But if it's like actual, you know game content, then yes. Mm. At, at least Ubisoft came clean on that when the weather, like, contains um, on-disc content or whatever. Or yeah. unlockable disc content, right? Right. Religious, I'm not saying Arkham Knight's bad. I'm saying Arkham Knight had a really fucking horrible PC port. Oh god, yes. And it's still awful. They yeah. still haven't patched it out. They, because why would, why they, would they? They already made their money. They tried to fix it, but the, it, it just got to a point where they're like, all right, uh, we'd have to basically remake this. Yeah. And Lord knows Warner Bros. is not going to pay for them. Yeah, that's kind of why I don't like them. And then they're like, oh, yeah, we're not supporting um, Injustice anymore on PC or Mortal Kombat. Like, yeah, no DLC for it anymore. We're not fixing any of the bugs, mm. so good luck. It's like, you also guys don't deserve to stop defending. You just don't. Yeah. No, also, also, yeah, don't defend companies. They've got lawyers for that. They don't need you. Um, Dark Souls 2 actually had a great PC port, as far as I remember. The only thing that was a little bit wonky on launch was the uh, weapon degradation issue. Well, that was the... That was fixed in the... the um, oh my god, what was it? Uh, the definitive edition that they released later, but... They had a... It's also fi it's also fixed in a regular edition. That's not that's not a problem anymore. Did they? Yeah. As far as I know, of course, sure it did. I really don't know. I oh, never played Dark Souls two. I know Dark Souls one had <laughs> infamously shit port. Oh yes, yes. Dark Souls one, like the port itself, is still awful without the. <laughs> don't do this to yourself. It's so bad. They did learn from. Uh, they did learn from. Take, though i'm gonna i'm gonna give him that like the uh the uh dark souls 2 port was much much better than the dark souls 3 port as well i don't understand why they didn't just hire the guy who fixed the game just i don't know fuck if i know Bando Na bandai namco dude they're weird they really fuck up pc ports yes constantly. they fuck up. they fucked them up badly too what about the dlc areas Religious. Uh, because the DLC areas are the best content in Dark Souls 2, which is which is to say the only good content in Dark Souls 2. Well, that's not true. The PvP, I heard, was the best in that. Yeah, that, sure. That's, yeah. That's a thing. What are you even thumping? What's going on outside? I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. What the fuck time is it? Light. Okay, no, I got time. I was very confused. Yep. I thought I heard pounding. You hate the DLC areas, really? That's surprising. That's really surprising because, the, as far as I'm concerned, those are the only good areas in the game. 
DS2 is the second game you rage quit? Well... I advise you to get good. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for him, like, here it comes. Here it comes, here it comes. <laughs> no, just, just kidding. Like, the DLC... I will say that the DLC areas are hardest nails sometimes. Especially the optional boss fights and, like, the, the weird gauntlet areas that they introduced in there. Like, they deliberately... Uh, they deliberately designed DLC, uh, like areas in the DLC, are meant to be co uh, to, to be played through cooperatively. Which is to say, they are hard as all fuck. Lou, I have something racist to say. Mm. Um, you know how Canadians are very apparent when they say sorry. They say sorry. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I, I found the word that, that outs you Austrians. It's designed. Wah. Whenever you say designed, you and Schwarzenegger can instantly tell now that you're Austrian. It's just Really? The, yeah, the way it's like designed. Designed. Cyberdyne Systems Model 101. I was designed I was designed by Skynet. I can't say I can't I can't do it the way really, you really that, that's like, fascinating. You say it like designed. It's it's like that kind of separation. With, with me, it's just designed. You're like designed. I can't do it. Huh? I'm sorry. That's fascinating. I never noticed that. I mean, how would I? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll just leave it. Yeah, to, that's funny. Leave it to uh, the I... shitty racist American to uh, point it out. Yeah. Hey, you're oh. weird and not not from my country. <laughs> oh, faggot. <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh, well, there goes uh, yeah, that's, there goes that's, my YouTube that's really interesting. What? 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 No, seriously, though, that, that, that's really interesting, and I, I keep ragging on Spike for how he pronounces problem. He always like swallows ha half the word. It's like problem. So it's just a, it's it's a problem, I, right? I think yeah. I. I I think I had a pretty good Spike impersonation at one point where he, even he was <laughs> like, I think I think that's it was the one time I ever heard him speechless. He was just like, ooh, okay. Yes. I wasn't making yes. fun of him. I'm just like, like, damn, you have an accent. <laughs> <laughs> I must create a universe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he was so proud of you too. He's just like, oh, that's spot on. <laughs> <laughs> I, he's I was... he's, he's self-aware enough to not give a fuck. I was worried he was going to be mad, because I know he got mad at me once or <laughs> twice before, because... Whew! Zelda. Yeah. And yeah. I'm not saying... I wasn't saying he was wrong, I was just saying I don't like... I don't think Zelda has ever been open world like Far Cry, where you can walk in that direction and just, it's always open. Mm -hmm. That's what the new Zelda's like, and I didn't think I would enjoy it, but I wound up doing it, but like... You know, yeah. earlier Zelda was really never like that. You you know, you walk in a direction and you got locked out by, you know, you need a certain weapon or something. Like, okay, cool. You never, everything funneled yeah. into yeah. a dungeon at some point. With Far Cry, yeah. walk in a direction, climb a tower, who gives a shit? Yeah, do whatever the fuck you want. And to then, be fair though, like, Far Cry t uh, 3 had this weird lockout system at some point where they locked you out of the second island, I think, by just shooting you the fuck down as soon as it got close. And it needed to, co to complete a few missions before you could e even access the second island. You know, I don't really remember, because the only memorable parts of Far Cry 3 were the linear events. Everything else was just kind of like, by yeah. the books. Yeah. Yeah, Far Cry 3 is just like, yeah, climb a tower, uh, snipe out a uh, watch post, rinse and repeat. Yeah, I mean, the, the it's gameplay all you was solid enough, it's just, it didn't really do anything. It got anything. repetitive after, yeah, it got repetitive after, like, half an hour. I Like I said, I, I kind of preferred, I, I know Far Cry 2 hasn't aged well in some regards, but I do prefer it in mm -hmm. some ways, where it's like... Fucking F will be. Well, I heard you can mod that. I tried. Uh, well, I failed. Well, get good or something. <laughs> Um, I, I liked how there was weapon degradation, like, you know, you picked up someone's, you know, unmaintained gun and it would just explode mm -hmm. in your hands, and then you're like, oh, well, I don't have a gun right now. Yeah. Though it, it was a bit frustrating at the weapon degradation 
never seem to apply to enemies. Yeah, that's part of the whole environment thing. I mean, well, to be fair, they they don't live long enough to use their goddamn guns. Yeah, it's it's a fair point, but still. And they don't have the benefit of uh, carrying multiple guns like you do. Hmm. I, know, I, I just made it like more interesting and seeing how yeah, games like Fallout 4 got rid of weapon degradation, it just made it less survival mm. and I'm like, cool, um what happened to all that you know, weapon, Im weapon stuff? Implying, implying Fallout has ever been about survival. Well, I mean... As aside from the originals, of course. Well, in New Vegas, you know, you had to really keep an eye on your guns, stats or otherwise, it, it could very well break or just not perform as well. Yeah, I mean, they all did that, but still, it's, I wouldn't exactly call it uh, survival aspects, really. It's just, I don't know. Well, it's some form of it. At least it was yeah. in there. <laughs> versus, like, just not having it, period. It's something, Dutch JPEG. Yeah, that's... That is, in fact, a JPEG. Yeah, it is. Now I'm regretting the fact that I don't know what JPEG actually stands for. Neither do I. Mm. Like, I knew what oh, GIF was. It was like. Um. Graphic. Graphic interface format? No. Uh. Graphical interchange format, I believe. Right, right, interchange. Exactly. Which is why it's GIF and not GIF. Yeah. Creator's a fucking maniac, if he thinks that's uh, the case. So, Ch uh, JPEG got its name from... ...group. So it's not even, like, file format thingy. Oh, there's no technical term? I mean, no. Oh, it's not, oh, okay. Hmm. Which is too bad, I think. It was very weird. I mean, BMP is bitmap, of course. What does what does TIFF stand for? Are we really now looking up looking up some? Oh yeah, tagged image file format. Mine. Okay. Yeah, we were fucking nerding the fuck out at this point. Yeah. Fun fact about stuff about stuff that nobody gives a. Sh Do you know Monkey what? Island? I know of it, but I've never played it. Okay. Well, the main character's name is Guybrush. Do you want to know why yes, it's called? No. Do you, oh, good. Do you do you know why it's called Guybrush? That I do not know. <laughs> well, because uh, Paint Shop Pro at that point, the files were called Dot Brush, and they didn't have a name, so they called him Guy. <laughs> so his name is literally based on the Guy file thing. Brush. <laughs> Guy Brush. Yes. So <laughs> there you go. That's, that's how they fucking Guy, the character. Guy Brush Freeboot, I think was was his name, right? Yep. That's that's hilarious. <laughs> I love finding out little stories about that. It's like. It's like, oh man, you know, these developers really must have had, like, you know, a really in-depth thought, you know, about, you know, the, no. No. No, it, no. Is, it is unintentional. <laughs> it's like Team Fortress, oh man, the spies mechanics, they're so deep, you know, they they got to be intentional. No, it was a glitch that just, you know, we we're like, hey, cool, this, this kind of <laughs> really works not. out. This is a cool gameplay. Um, yeah, the spy was no, totally unintentional. The, the, um... The cloak okay. mechanic was intended, but what wasn't was him being able to disguise as an ally teammate. Uh, an enemy teammate. Oh! So, that was entirely unintentional, but like, hey, this is fucking cool, you know, let's just... Let's yeah, keep that, is, that is cool. Damn. Also... That's awesome. Rocket jumping? <laughs> rocket jumping is another unintentional glitch. Yeah, that I don't know. I was just like, uh, the physics engine more or less doing its own thing, right? Yeah, because, I mean, the, the rockets had pushback, so if you yeah. jumped and used your jump momentum plus the rocket, you could, you know, you can get somewhere. Mm-hmm. Same as bunny hopping. Yep, that's, uh, very fucking weird. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna yeah, go I grab guess, a guess. drink real quick. Sure. Be right back. Ah! <sighs>
うわうんいいっす Alright now I'm back! WB, bitch! Yeah! So wait, so. Yeah, that, boy! Does that mean WBB? Uh, what? Welcome back, bitch, WBB. Oh, right, right. That would be a cool file name. Welcome back, bitch. <laughs> well, I mean, Doom's got that going. The uh, WAD oh, files. Yeah, right. Where's all the data? Where's all the data? Dude, where's your data? Dude, where's my data? He's on the uh, Starship Enterprise, actually. Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> Glad I can uh, help you find your keys. I found your oh. Android, bitch! <laughs> found the droid I'm looking for, bitch! <laughs> That's Star Wars, you can't mix the two! Yes, I can! Just like I can't say, you're a wizard, Harry. So sad, Gandalf the Grey. <laughs> and just then, a thousand nerds had a thousand heart attacks. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a million voices cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. Or something along those lines. I don't, I don't know the exact quote. Fuck me, I'm not a nerd. Yes, you are. <clears throat> <laughs> You're the biggest of nerds. <laughs> I'm not that big, it's just 180. Pardon? I'm just like 1 meter 80 centimeters or something. Oh, okay, I was like... Hang one... on, what, what, what's that in idiot? Uh, <laughs> things. If you're taller than me, I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> I, 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 I can almost guarantee that. You can lie to me and make me feel better. <laughs> That's how this world works. <laughs> I'm, I'm five feet nine. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Everyone I know is taller than me. Except for the girls. They're, thankfully, uh, I'm, I'm taller than two out of the three. Ooh. I know, right? <laughs> At least I can be taller than someone. Yeah. Sirlicious so recently finished I Divine Cyberman. I know of that game? Me too, I've just never seen it in action. 1.8 meters. It uh, hold on, I I've seen a few screenshots and it really reminded me of some bad Warhammer 40k fanfic. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, it, it looks exactly like... like Quote unquote, exactly like Warm 40k. <laughs> I'm going it's heavily to... inspired, let's put it that way. I'm gonna look up what 1.8 meters is. Yeah, 5 foot 9. Oh. He's almost as. He's, he's pretty much same, the same height as me. Bloody fucking hell. <laughs> Hardy har. <laughs> uh, you're three inches taller than me. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what's three inches in units that regular people can understand? Let's see. Is that like nine centimeters or something? I don't know. I, I really want to learn and... 7.6 centimeters. Okay, well, there you go. 7.62 to be precise, because your measurements make no fucking sense. Our measurements are better, because convoluted, dumb addition makes everything better. Mm-hmm. It also makes more sense to put the uh, to put the month before the days and then just the year, you know. Medium, small, large. Well, <laughs> listen, I'll have you know it. We call it standard for a reason. <laughs> because fuck you. That's why we're better. USA, yeah. USA. USA. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say this, and I think this might impress you in at least the nerd nerdiest of senses. Um, dun, dun, dun. Whenever I talk about anything like that in Antares Complex, I always refer mm -hmm. to it in metric. Nice. Like I have uh when I have Good at you when I listed Nasia's height and weight, I did it in metric, which was annoying because I was sitting there with a fucking calculator going like, alright, what's the next thing? <laughs> 
I'm actually gonna look that up real quick because uh, I want I want a good laugh because my friend said that Nage is a little heavy. I'm like, she's got like a eight pack and she's got thick ass arms. <laughs> what she I? thick, you? Yeah, she's real thick. <laughs> uh, no, she isn't. Spoiler. Oh, oh shit! I don't have uh, I don't have that listed on the website yet. I have the old description on the website. I uh, have failed everyone. <laughs> well said, dude. Yeah, goddamn right. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, I have to look that up now I, because I'm. Damn it! I'm curious. What the fuck did I have for a weight? I need all my European friends to laugh at me. Hardy har. Dude. She's fat. Dude. She's got so many kilograms. <laughs> All of them kilograms. Uh. All right. Atmosphere is usually something you see in my dreams. Buggy as fuck. Translations. But <laughs> this sounds like a game developed in the uh, in Eastern Europe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that kind I'm not of... even kidding. No, I agree. Because I mean. Um, stalker is a yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, fuck me, I love Stalker. I'd prefer not to fuck you, but I mean, like, if you're gonna be, like, so demanding, I mean... Oh, come on. <laughs> um... Is... This it? Oh my god, it's from 2013. There is no <laughs> it was way made. Is... It was made by Frenchies. Oh, made, fucking course it was made by Frenchies. That, that, you racist. That, that would have been my next guess. <laughs> Actually. Holy shit! I don't have her fucking thing listed here. That really pissed me off. What the shit, dude? I am. I am positive I wrote it somewhere. Where the hell did I stick it? <laughs> stick it to the man. Preferably stick it to me. Dude. Mm. I've got choice words for you. Mostly shut <laughs> mostly shut and up. <laughs> God damn it. So we have fun with Hitler. <laughs> that we do, dude, that we do. Oh, I told my dad that uh watchtower joke of yours. Oh god, yes. He's in a dark humor. He's he's just like he's like, wow. I'm like yeah, I know, right? He's like, who? I'm like, an Austrian. You can always say so much. He's like, all right. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't say it was Lou, wasn't it? No, well, I I don't I don't specify. I'd say my European friend because you know names names are hard. Just to remember that. I'm called Lou, dude! I know, I mean, that's hard. That's Everybody hard. remembers me. I don't remember you, who the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm Mr. Reeseeks, look at me! Fuck, I can't find it. Damn it. Hardy uh, har. I'll have to look later, but I had all of her info and. Uh... What, 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 is, what is it in retard units then? I don't know, I, I don't. I'm not good at remembering numbers, so that's why I wrote it down. <laughs> He's your fucking comic character. You should know that. I know, but dude, I had to like research like <laughs> how much, how much like a, a an athletic woman ever... should be. <laughs> how much does the average female weigh? No, like athletic woman. Because I mean, I, uh, every girl I ask, like, oh, like I'm under a hundred pounds. I'm like, well, of course you are. Like, well, fuck it. Wink. <laughs> yeah. You fucking whale. I mean, I, I kind of had Nej pegged to be about my height, because I wanted her to be, uh, at least some kind of, um, I don't know. I, I, I wanted her to be, um, short-ish, you you, someone to relate to? to have... Fuck you. Alright, I'm just gonna cut you off. You, want... <laughs> you wanted to have at least one dwarf in your, <laughs> your comic. Lou, I'm never shooting with you again. I need a midget in this shit. <laughs> never shooting with you again. I'm gonna find someone much better, nicer, and less stupid, alright? <laughs> well, good luck with that, bro. <laughs> you're gonna use proper measurements, and we're gonna talk about manly, you know, American things. <laughs> <laughs> I think the sad thing is you're more American than me because I've never fired a real gun before. <laughs> You twat. 
<laughs> Fucking hell. I got, se <laughs> I got several nerf guns. <laughs> I do too. Like, I've, I've got my Maverick lying on my workbench right now. Everyone's got the Maverick. The Maverick's fucking awesome, dude. Like, but the only thing that pisses me off about the Maverick is the placement of the mag release button. I was thinking it pisses me one. off so bad. I do have... Hmm? No, I was, I was saying, um, I was thinking of the wrong, um, gun when you said Maverick. Uh, which one's the revolver? Because that one's, like, the most popular yeah, one. That's a Maverick! Oh, is it? We well, said the yeah. mag. mag. It doesn't have a magazine. No, I mean like the uh, the drum release. I would I should say. Yeah, and it's, I modified that drum? by the way, because I fucking I'm like this thing has to stick outward. I don't want it to only pop out slightly. Yeah, I, I, I no, I mean I already did the uh, the dropout mod. Yeah. That, that, that I've done ages ago because fuck that. But I'm talking about this little button. Hang on. I know what you're talking about. Well, I I just stream up, damn it. I know which one you're talking about. I have the damn gun. Sorry, I didn't hear you right now. I was, I was just getting my Maverick. I was saying I can't see your stream, so. Oh, right. I know, which, like, I know which one you're talking about. Like, if you look at the, ma at the Maverick, right? The, like, uh, sorry. Standard fucking revolver. You would think that a button right here to release the magazine, or, on, or at least on both sides, would be great, you know? Just, just so you can shoot. Push the button on. Uh, push the button with your trigger finger and release the drum. Lou's mic is dead. Oops. Oh fuck. I hear you. Yeah, you do, but he doesn't. Hang on. Hang on. What have you done? Ah, he nerfed it. Ah, <laughs> Rollish has made fun of you. <laughs> Did he roast me now? Right. Now it should work. Anyway, so like when you've got the Maverick in hand, right? You've got the uh, like uh, you've got the drum release on the left hand side. Is the small black button that drops out your uh, your mag or your, uh, your drum, right? Mm -hmm. In my opinion, it should be on the right hand side. Use you your trigger finger open. Uh, the fucking drum, but no, it's on the other side, so you can use your second hand for this shit. Just infuriating in and of itself. <sighs> anyway. Ranty rant rant rant. Ranty rant rant about stuff that nobody cares about but me. I care, Lou. I care. Pepper's farm are you members. Are you concerned? Would you say that you're concerned for me? No. Because you're my pal. We're, you're my budster. You budster. But I don't do butt stuff. I said bud, not butt. You no, Austrians, you're a butt. You Austrians are so obsessed with butts. Aren't we all? Das butt. Das butt. Yeah. I swear to God, if I lost that fucking file about her height and weight, I'm gonna be very upset, because I have, like, everyone's thing written out. Did you check your DeviantArt as well? No, I don't have any information on there. I I'm, I'm gonna have to check on the surface later. I'm not gonna do it now while I'm on right. the stream. I'm gonna run it, to you, run it by you there. Righto, righto. Let me know when you, uh, Check out the preview thing that I sent you. Preview card. Oh, you sent me something. Hang on. No, I sent you a Hang while ago. Hang on. Journey to the skyline, I mean. Oh, right, right. That preview thing. Sure. Yeah. Everyone's Will been do. too busy to check it out because I sent it to oh. three people. Three! Ah, ah, ah. That's the only amount I'm going to do because I'm too paranoid to send it to other people. <laughs> Dude, I was Somebody's like, gonna steal it. Dude, I was in my head. I was just like, I'm like, oh my god, I hope they don't accidentally leak it or something. Why would we do that? We're not dicks. I said accidentally. You can accidentally. That's stupid, dicks. dicks. Well, I mean, you never know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate your trust and support. I, I give you all the support. 
that I can. Support. Listen, yeah, I'm, I'm American. Surf, which is none. I'm American, so I can only give you so much support since you're a foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> There's only so much I can care about at a time. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm sure this is technically politics, but I mean, it's it's just too funny to not make fun of myself at all given times. I know. Also, it's been scientifically proven that multitasking is nonsensical. Bullshit. What are you talking about? Multitasking. Like, some people claim that, oh, I can multitask like a champ. No, you can't. Nobody can. Uh, it's not. It's nonsense. It depends on what they're talking about. No, it, about. it doesn't depend. Multitasking is, an, is not a thing yes, for humans. Is. I will tell you why it is. And you're going to listen to me and you're going to go, well, and I'm going to say, it still counts. Uh, some people can't even, can't watch TV and have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Doing, watching TV and conversation, that is multitasking. Mm, no, it isn't. Typically you're splitting isn't. your attention. You're not paying attention equally. So, uh, at the time that somebody's talking, you're uh, mostly paying attention to them. But you're not watching the movie at that time. Well, I mean, you're looking at it, but you're not taking in what's happening actively. That's not true, because I mean, I've had conversations fully throughout an entire movie, and they're like, wait, what just happened? I'm like, this is what happened. How did you miss that? <laughs> so, hmm. that's what I'm saying. There is a certain level of multitasking. Yeah, I can breathe and watch think, eat, at the same time. Well... I call people schmucks. <laughs> well... Yeah, think, boy. I think he's got a speed there. <laughs> no, like, the, like, there are people who can't do those sor sorts of things. Like, um, I can't play games and talk to all at the same time, which is why I do Let's Plays. Um, <clears throat> but, <laughs> but some people... Some people can do it easily, and you're like, how is this guy... Doing all this, like Geo. For I'm instance. pretty sure they're not doing this easily. Well, I'm fairly certain of that. Geo, of all people, <laughs> this motherfucker, <laughs> um, <laughs> pissed off. This is why fighting games are—they don't happen in my house anymore. My friend lost his shit. He was my uh -huh. friend was so determined to beat Geo at a fighting game. Uh, <laughs> That's a bad idea, I guess. Very. Geo. Geo is pretty good at games. <laughs> Uh, he's, he's trying yeah. to beat Geo at Smash Brothers, and he said he like you know he's practicing everything. And he's like, I'm gonna beat Geo's ass this time. Mm -hmm. Geo and him start, and like shortly after, he takes a phone call with his girlfriend, and he, while oh on the phone God. with his girlfriend, wrecks his ass, destroys him. He's like, he's like, dude, you're on the fucking phone. You're fucking beat it. Like, like, so I was just sitting there like leaning <laughs> away from this. I'm like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> And that's why fighting games just cease to be over here, you know, for, for one reason or another. They cease to be! <laughs> so, there is multitasking, it's just not as people say where they're like, you know, oh, I, you know, you know, I do this and this. It's like, no, you have ADD. Yeah. That's not the same thing. Exactly. Like, I can right. do a lot of things that, uh, you know, get in, throughout, uh, an hour. I won't get, you know, one task particularly done, but because I have a good memory, I know exactly where I left off. Mm-hmm. So, I can multitask in that regard. However, talking... Yeah. Talking hard. Talking real hard. No, talking difficult. Talking are the hard. <laughs> Yar. No, you see, Geo... Geo and fighting games, unfortunately, are a match made in hell for everyone else. <laughs> we decided... Is that good, huh? I don't know... I, I don't know, considering how people study frame data these days, and they'll be like, Oh, I know, you know, when you're invincible and where you can hit and where you can't. Like, I don't know how yeah, Geo... Yeah, iframes and stuff. Yeah, I don't know if Geo can stand up against one of those people particularly, but, like, you know, just kind of practicing on the, you know, base game with... Whatever, like he he was really good with that. Um, we all pretty much said we were gonna master one character in Soul mm -hmm. Calibur Two. Oh damn! Uh, I stuck with Nightmare. I got pretty good with him, and my brother got good with Keelik, and Geo got good with a lot of characters, and he <laughs> because of course he did. And he just destroyed all of us, including with our own characters that we you know somewhat learned. 
So damn, that was the official day that, uh, <laughs> you know, legit fighting games. Because you know, I'm ca calling it out. You know, Smash Brothers is not a legit fighting game. Uh, that's that's the day fighting games really died here. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker. Yeah, per personally, personally, I'm terrified of fighting games because I'm never gonna be as good as anyone ever. Yeah, but. You, I you, suck at fighting games. You like playing Dark Souls PvP, so why not- Which is not a fighting game, Dark Souls PvP joke. It may as well be. It may as nah, well be- really. uh, It nah, may as well be a fighting game. There's all these technical things you gotta learn, you know, you're you're, you're sitting there with the terrain in, in like certain ways, you gotta calculate all this shit. It's it's a fighting not game. Not really, no. No. Oh no, it isn't. No. Dark Souls, Dark Souls PvP is all about spacing. That's all it is. Outspace your opponent, strike whenever you're safe. Period. That's all it is. You know, game you might like. There's nothing to learn. I, I think you might like this one fighting game. It's old, but if you look it up, I think you'd appreciate it. It's called uh, Bushido hmm. Blade. Oh, that one. Yeah. I think I'm. I think I know of that one. It's like. Wasn't the... that the uh, very few hits kill, and you've got weapons and shit? Yeah. If you hit someone's arm, their arm's disabled. Oh. Oh, it's one of those. I see. It's really, really intense. Mm-hmm. So yeah, because high weapon. stakes and extremely hard-hitting weapons and shit. Yeah, you can you can block and stuff, and sometimes you'll get nicked and it won't really do a lot of damage. But holy mm -hmm. shit, it was so fucking intense. Yep, I've heard of that. Yeah, I think you'd enjoy that. I mean, too bad, you know, there's no, like, online community because it's a PlayStation 1 game, but... I wouldn't be surprised if somebody managed to mod that. Like, if, if, there, if there's some cult following for that or something, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's on a Nintendo game, so, you know, you know it doesn't get, like, the super fanfare that mm. they, those games do. Yeah, hence the cult following art. No, I, I know. It's also not a Sonic game, so it doesn't get fan games. Woo! Sonic. Wait, it had training stage soundtrack? It had a soundtrack? Like, I only remember, like, it had a title thing, but for, like, the most part, it was just, like, ambient sounds. Unless you're thinking Fuck if I know, dude. Fuck if I know. Stop swearing, Lou. You're gonna make my YouTube credibility go down. You make... Am I, am I making you look bad? Oh, real bad. Oh, jeez. Oh, lady! <laughs> <laughs> Your revenue. Ah, good one. <laughs> <laughs> On YouTube. <laughs> 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 uh, oh. There's a knee slapper. Yeah. Yeah. As I said, the only reason why I monetize the videos is because it entices YouTube to actually advertise them. So you'll uh -huh. show up on some pages. Like, I know I'm not going to make shit on them. <laughs> I think I made four cents on the on one video. <laughs> and you know which Damn. video it is of all the videos? Take a guess. Let me guess. It was the. Hang on, hang on. What? I, I'm I, pretty sure it was the really short, really stupid. I, I have faith that you'll you'll figure it out. It it could only be one of two answers, so I believe <sighs> in you. I, mean, I, I I just suck at remembering videos. Let me look this up. Oh, it, was, it was either the like the fake ass. Uh, I'll look at it after we're I I I don't want to blast the uh, stream with uh, <coughs> audio because I won't be able to set uh, <laughs> separate it from uh, Lou, which is making wonderful noises. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm, oh, all right, my guess would be. Hang on. Don't look at the view count, you cheater. No, I'm, I'm not looking at the, at the view count at all. But now that you mention it... Hey! Don't uh, cheat! I bought you! It, no, it, it was either unboxing Mass Effect Andromeda or uh, Last Time on Tomb Raider. <laughs> Is that your Raider I'm pretty one? sure it was Last Time on Tomb Raider. <laughs> Is that your Raider one? Really? I, that's, fu that's funny. I love that right. video too much. Even if it's like the crappiest shit. out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, one of the comments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone didn't like it. I I, I don't care. 
He's not wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not. It's, <laughs> it's a fucking meme video in a short one. Gonna get to see, brother. I had so much fun <laughs> fucking doing it. I rate eight. I rate eight out of eight, mate. No hate. <laughs> Slit fam. <laughs> Last time on I'm Tomb on Raider. Tomb Raider. <laughs> it's so dumb. I love it so much. <laughs> I had to pull myself back because I was I, I I realized within a second or two I started sounding like Miss Piggy, so I'm like, no 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 back it up, gotta make it sound a little different. <laughs> like, I don't I didn't want that so I, I God it was so goofy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That'll be the only time uh, I ever voice a lady character. A lady character? Oh! Glee! Oh, lady! <laughs> oh, lady! <laughs> right. And that's me done for today. You spectacular cunt. I know, I am spectacular. And a cunt. It's <laughs> a very mean word you said. Yeah. It's a woody word. Gives me confidence. Confidence? So anyway, confi <laughs> yeah, confidence. It's just a little bit, but it's woody. A woody word. All right. As I was, as I was, as I was just saying, that's me done for today. Thank you all very much for reading. You can do this tomorrow at pomcomic.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at uh, at pomcomic and on Facebook at piece of me comic. So. Right. Eat. What are you doing? Are you gonna stream a little bit, a little bit further, or are you just gonna call, say fuck it, I'm out? No, I'm gonna say fuck it, I'm out because I want to eat something. But righto, righto. Don't worry, guys. You too will be able to read this comic one of these days once someone mm. fucking reads the preview thing, so I get some kind of <laughs> goddamn fate back. I don't know what you're, whatever you're talking. Don't worry, I got three people I on the line. I do not feel addressed. Three people I'm waiting on. <laughs> All of them YOUTSIDES! <laughs> All of them taller than you. <laughs> no, that's not true! <laughs> My brother is a full inch shorter than me. Damn. Ten years older, ONE INCH SHORTER! <laughs> Will wife food the frog soon? <laughs> Hey, don't you know she's got weird legs and you're not allowed to like her? <laughs> Law finds a way, dude. Law <laughs> finds a way. It All always right. does. <laughs> well, that's our uh, stream. Hope you guys had fun. Somehow. And I hope you have a wonderful fucking night. Or day. Gute Nacht! Ach, mein Lieben! Good night.